a lot of the work that I've done uh, over the last couple of decades has been about migration. And with Autodafe, I wanted to be more forensic, to, to take a feature of migration, which is really about refugee ship and, and um, look at that, look at the conditions that underpin it. Um, and so the work is really about a number of instances, events, if you will, uh, across a sort of an expanse of four centuries in which uh, groups of people have felt that their lives were somehow being shaped by forces of destruction, you know, religious persecution, economic hardship. Essentially the reasons why people feel, okay, I, I've got to go, I can't stay here because if I stay here I'm going to die. The key encounter between um, a refugee from Afghanistan or Syria, you know, Iraq, Yazidi, Christian, Muslim, who's trying to get to Europe and somebody from the past is that they have to do it by the sea. But then when they do it by the sea in the noughties, they have to navigate death. They have to navigate the corridor of uncertainty. And in that corridor lies really death. And that is the case for most people now, which is, you know, it's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> in our modern world, you know, uh, is the cost of simply looking for a better life, death? Why, why should that be? Modern refugee ship has to really deal with this question of, of death and precarity. You know, if you were from the Caribbean in the 40s, you know, you, you crossed the sea, but you didn't do it necessarily with death hovering over you, you know. Um, so this is a very modern feature of, of, of migranthood, which is why I, I wanted to look at it specifically through this lens of refugee ship. Because it seems to me that refugee ship throws up very unique questions. And once you see those questions in the present, it's possible to then begin to think about how the questions in the present are connected to other stories from the past, which is why the project has this four century expanse. I mean the processes that lead to, to any of the works that I've been involved with, they're slightly different for each one. They are the result uh, of long gestating reflections, you know, so I saw the key location for me in the piece, which is the cemetery, the Jewish cemetery in, in Barbados in 2009. So I've been thinking since 2009 about what to combine it with. And usually when that happens, when you can think of something uh, that it combines with, it happens very fast. Recently, a lot of the work that I've been doing have been on multi-screens. Very interested now in questions of proximity and simultaneity. So the things which otherwise have no logical relation with each other at all sit in this dialogue with each other. And I think, I think it's possible for things to emerge that way, out of that dialogue, in the same way that we used to valorize single screen uh, dramaturgy. You know, I think it's very possible to, to have things arise, logics, meanings, etc., not so much out of counterpoint, but out of a sort of association, if you see what I mean. Um, and so more of the work will explore that. I mean, we were doing that, I was doing that when I was part of a collective in the 80s and 90s, went off it a bit to go into television and you know, and all of that means, and the cinema and all of that means. And um, I'm much more interested in coming back to this question of reflection that one can get from, from having associations of images rather than counterpoints.